Good morning, my name is Idaira Brito, and in this presentation I will focus on the working of vegetal materials with obsidian, basalt, and other volcanic rocks. First of all, I'm going to introduce the geographical context. The Canary Islands are an archipelago of volcanic origin formed by eight islands. It is located 100 kilometers far from the North African coast. The first settlers of the Canary Island were of North African origin. Radiocarbon of short-lived materials put the focus of the process of colonization around the beginning of the era to the 50th century AD. Genetic analysis of Barley suggested that in the first colonization centuries there were some communication among the islands. Later, they might to be isolated approximately for a thousand years. This is Gran Canaria and this is the island we will focus in this presentation. The way of life of the native people was conditioned by the absence of metal tools and domestic draw animals. People adapted themselves to the environment and create tools on stone support, such as obsidian and volcanic rock, for example basalt, phonolith and trachyte. The archaeological evidences of different vegetal nature clearly show the use of lithic tools. This is because the environmental conditions preserve these organic items in an exceptional way. On the right side, you can see several archaeological objects with traces of the lithic tools, such as reeds. In the middle, you can see wood with print marks. And on the, lab, on the left side, we can see also the evidence of harvest barley with cutting marks. These artifacts have suggested hypotheses about the technological strategies and harvesting, for example, type of movement or morphology of the active edge. The aims of this research are to investigate the usual attributes of each contact material, to recognize differences related to the nature of each lithic raw material when accomplishing the same work, and to investigate about technology related to exploitation plant research. In order to understand the traces of use, we have carried out an experimental program. Firstly, the lithic tools were naped and halved. Secondly, we collected the botanical materials. Eventually, they were preposed. For example, the roots were dried before being worked and then humidified. With the different lithic tools, several actions were carried out vegetal harvesting and wood and fiber working. Finally, we observed this reference collection with microscope and record the different features of useware. You can see several actions we accomplished in this experimental program. The first experiment consists in working with woody plants in their fresh and dry state. The second consists in harvesting cereals and wheat, cutting and scraping reeds, and cutting fresh palm leaves. Later, we try to obtain finished objects in order to record real working conditions to understand better the wool processes. We made the wreath, uh, we made the wreath uh, mats and palm ropes. This experimental program is still in progress. By the moment, a total of 100 69 pieces have been analyzed and described. In this presentation, we will emphasize in the attributes relating to identify each vegetal works materials depending on the tool lithic nature. We also have record attributes related to the movement. We are going to show the differences between obsidian at the top part of a slide and basalt at the bottom. We consider edge removals and rounding, abrasion, striation, and polish. In the case of scars, they appear in both raw material. The main differences are observed at the termination of the edge removals. 
In the case of work uh, of dry wood and fresh reeds, the scars are mainly steps. In the case of work of uh, fresh wood, the scars are mainly feathers. And for harvesting ripe cereals, they are mainly half moon and with an appreciable rounding. For the volcanic rocks, the, the development and termination of the scar are very similar in the woodworking. In the case of harvesting ripe cereals, we have mainly feather stem scars with a rounding of the edge. A lot of scars developed when we worked reeds and pans. On obsidian and volcanic rocks, scars were mainly with feather termination and half moon. Rounding has not been observed in this case. I will describe in this slide first the obsidian. For wood, the striations are narrow, deep, shallow, sleek, and intermittent. When ripe cereal har uh, harvested, striations are mainly intermittent and raw bottom. Police is more developed when cereals are harvested. In that case, it is dry to fairly dry with a smooth. For wood, it is dry and smooth and the texture is a little dumped. In second, I will describe the wear on volcanic rocks. Concerning woodworking, the most abundant striations are narrow deep and raw bottom. The harvesting of non-woody vegetables also develops other types, uh, such as slicks. And the polis is only well developed when green reeds are harvested and a rounding of the edge is observed. And in this presentation also, I will describe first the obsidian. For dry reed, the striations are narrow, deep, slick and intermittent. When dry palm is processed, striations are narrow, deep and slick. In the case of fresh palm, the striations are slick and intermittent. The policy is more developed when fresh palm is processed. It is dry or fairly dry and slightly rounded. In second, I will describe the wear of volcanic rock. In the volcanic rock, I have narrow deep striation too, and in the case of the polis, we can see different degrees on the edge and into the PC top, with only just perceptible as a slight surface smoothing. This must be taken into account since the palm was in fresh state. I will now sum the results of the study of the experimental program. As were in the question, is it possible to distinguish where caused by contact with fresh wood and contact with cereals? It is possible to distinguish where caused a uh, palm and reed. It is possible in glass and in volcanic rocks. For this, we are going to compare different contact materials. For woodworking, the tools show narrow deep striation, while striation is slick, raw bottom and intermittent cereals develops. The polis area are mainly confined surrounding in the woodworking. However, a case of fairly polis was formed when the pieces were used for harvesting cereals. The difference is in the polis when volcanic rocks, rocks occurs. It is very poorly developed in wood with smooth texture. In the ripe cereals, we have very abrasive areas in cereals with a little rounding and a polish with a smooth and a bumpy aspect. In the case of the palm, the striations are very similar to those of cereal, where mainly deep slicks and intermittent in type. The striation. The microtopography is almost modified by smooth polish. For fresh reed, we can see different use wear. There is a lot of abrasion and the polis relief near to the edge limits and discrete. In the case of volcanic rock, there are differences between palm leaves and reeds. In palm, the polis was frequently raw and poached both in the edge and inside the pieces with a smooth texture. In fresh reed, we can see that the polis modify part of the microtopography. Finally, the pieces of obsidian that work dry palm show a lot of aversion and narrow deep striation. The polis is only on the top of the microtopography creates on this surface. The texture of the polis is very smooth. 
in the dry reed it creates narrow deep striation also very near to the edge and in the case of polished again on the edge but not the rest of the pieces as in the first stage the texture is bright and smooth and in the volcanic rock dry palm creates narrow deep striation and irregular surface with very resting polished spots with a texture a little smooth in dry reed we have not detected any polish and only narrow deep striation were considered in conclusion the experimental program has helped us to better understand the different action and use were developed in the two types of raw material when processing palm it is easier to identify the raw material on obsidian and the polish and striation are well developed in the case of obsidian in the case of volcanic rocks, it is only present when reed is harvested. Further experimentation and observation of archaeological material is needed. Finally, it is important to acknowledge the work of my colleagues in the Grupo de Investigación Tarja, who have helped me to produce this work. It is also important to thank the farmers and artisans who have helped uh, us with their work and knowledge. Thank you very much for listening to me.